Do I need to file my tax return now? Between birthdays, bank holidays and everything in between, it can be hard to remember what day of the week we are on. So we don't blame you for forgetting when your tax returns are due. And that's why we're here. So shove these dates in your calendar or save this video and hopefully you'll remember them this year. If you are a sole trader, don't forget, you need to register with HMRC before the 5th of October in your business's second tax year. If you don't register in time, you may get hit with a fine. So let's not do that. If you like to play it old school and submit a paper tax return, then your deadline to file your return will be the 31st of October. You get a little extra time if you would prefer to submit your self-assessment tax return online though, as the deadline for this is the 31st of January the following year. If this is your first year submitting a self-assessment tax return, then don't panic, HMRC has lots of guidance to help you through it. If you need to submit a tax return for a limited company, then your date will be unique to you and your company. The deadline for this will be exactly 12 months after the end of the accounting period it covers. Let's break it down. If your accounting period ends on the 31st of March 2023, your tax return would be due on the 31st of March 2024. You will get a letter from HMRC confirming the date of your first accounting period when you first register your company for corporation tax. If you forget this though, you can always find them on HMRC's online service or check with your accountant. I have one more thing for you to remember, sorry. Your deadline to pay what your company owes is nine months and one day following the end of the accounting period. So if your accounting period ends on the 31st of March, 2023, you would need to make your payment before the 1st of January, 2024. Right, that was a lot of info. Save this video and check out our other resources for some other tips and advice.